And this video clip that I'm going to show you is a video clip that I took when I w we w went to a gentleman named Arturo. Arturo was donating to us this fabulous collection of plumerias. Really great collection, S something like 50 to 60 different varieties of plumerias. We've since transplanted them up on top of Talic Knoll. They look fantastic. I invite you to come up and take a look at them. Now, they're not all uh, in bloom, and this year they're just getting their feet wet. They're starting to grow, but a lot of them are starting to bloom as well. Anyway, I want to show you this little clip that we took of Arturo talking about fragrances. and fra It's talking about fragrances with the frangipani, which is the other name for plumerias. And it's a really interesting little clip, so let me show that to you here. Yes, normally... We get the uh, essential oils or the fragrances from a perfume house that makes the, they manufacture they them. Manufacture they're not the natural. Mm -hmm. uh, they use some naturals. They use ingredients, some, but ingredients, but, right? But they also have to use some synthetics, right? Because the problem with naturals is, is what people don't understand. People are now in a natural kick, right? But you know, nature doesn't duplicate itself on a continuous basis. You know, you, you pick two lemons from a tree and they don't look yeah, alike. Right, and there's a little like, bit of variation. Uh, that there is a variation. One lemon may have more juice than the other one. But also, if you were to market that, you know, to try to supply the general public with lemon juice, you have to, to do something. You know? right. right. Whereas with the synthetic, synthetic you, it's, you, extra, you, it's consistent. It's consistent. It's very consistent and the quality control is easier. It's essential. Maintain. Because otherwise, Chanel number five, five right. would be Chanel number five A, right. five B, oh. five C. Yes. Normally, we get the uh, essential oils or the fragrances from a perfume house that so makes the, they manufacture they them. Manufacture They're not the natural. Mm -hmm. That right there was Jim uh, Henrik, who is our. Uh, botanist here, our head biologist, our senior biologist is actually his complete title, and he was talking to Arturo, discussing the different ramifications of the fragrance industry, which is really kind of an interesting industry. I hope to get a little bit more into uh, fragrances and what creates them, the plants behind them, and the history behind them sometime uh, a couple months from now on this show. I think that'll be a really fantastic little aside and fragrances have a lot to do with how we value plants and uh, how we value objects too if a new car didn't smell like a new car would you buy it probably not anyway that's it for today's questionable botanist I'll be here tomorrow and then I'll be off for about a week and a half I'm going on vacation to Colorado to do some cave exploring yep that's my hobby I'm a cave explorer so I will be back around the 27th or the 28th of July. Uh, until then, enjoy all the reruns that we have on YouTube. And also until then, goodbye and good gardens. This is Frank McDonough from the Arboretum. <laughs>